Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about what you should do if you're getting clicks but no conversions. And this happens a lot, I see especially with new newbies when they start running ads, they get clicks but then they get zero conversions. So we're going to talk about what kind of tools you're going to need to use to make sure that you're getting the most possible out of your ads. Let's jump into today's video. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Brashears. I create daily digital marketing videos. So if you're looking to grow your brand or your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and comment if you have any questions at all. All right, so let's jump into this. You get clicks, but no conversions. So what is not working here? I think it's going to depend on a few things. First of all, where are you running ads? Are you on Facebook or Instagram or Google? And if you're on Facebook or Instagram, you're going to have to understand that typically people on these different sites, they're not necessarily looking for specific solutions. So like, let's say you are a surfboard company. People aren't um, browsing on Instagram to go buy a surfboard. But if they see an ad that's interesting and um, it is, you know, something cool, they will take a look and the opportunity happens. It's more of an opportunity platform versus Google. If you have somebody that's searching for terms, you will find that people are actually looking to purchase surfboards on Google. And so you say, you know, surfboard, if they're looking for like a specific length of surfboard, for example. So people will actually go and they'll be, you know, searching for a specific product on Google because that's typically where they go. The same, they'll be on Amazon too, but Google is also a great place to get that intent behind it. So first you have to figure out what's the medium that you're using and what's the mindset of the people that are actually clicking. So it depends a lot on the purchase price of the product as well. If you have a product that's cheap, you're gonna have higher conversion just because there's less of a thought process going into that. You know, if you're gonna go out and you're gonna buy a $2 item, it doesn't take, you know, I don't have to go check with my spouse and say, hey, do you think we have it in the budget to go buy this $2 item? It's, you know, I need it or it looks interesting. I, I get it and it's done. So that's typically called a tripwire purchase. Um, depending on what you're doing and what your goals are is going to depend on if people are actually buying things. Typically, uh, and what I mean by that specifically is typically the way that I like to build um, audiences and target different audiences is I like to build people that are not just cold strangers to sell them something. I like to engage people with content, take those content audiences and the, those remarketing audiences and then show them offers once they've been segmented and they've shown interest in engaging. So I think that there's several different components here that can be the problem when you're trying to figure out why you're getting clicks but no conversions. So there's really three specific or actually four specific parts to an, an ad that you're running. You're gonna have your audience that you're doing your targeting for, you're gonna have your ad creative, you're gonna have your landing page, and then you're gonna have your offer. And really it's as simple as that. So across each one of these points, we need to figure out what's going on. If you're getting clicks, typically people are interested in whatever the headline is, but what is the headline? A lot of times if you're getting clicks but no conversions, the headline can be too clickbaity, meaning it's too much curiosity. People don't know what to expect when they get to the landing page. And so when they get to the landing page, it's not what they thought it was going to be. They're, they're just not sold yet. And so they just end up bouncing and they leave. So if you want more specific target uh, of uh, customers coming to the landing page, you need to put more information into the ad. So things like price or, you know, very much more specifics into that ad. So like if you're doing lead generation, where you're just trying to generate name, phone number and email and things like that, that's a lot easier than, than selling directly um, typically but it's gonna again depend on your specific situation. There's not like a hard and fast rule that's for every single situation and every single product. Every industry is different and has industry norms and things. So that being said though, um, typically if you make more specifics in the ads, you're going to get better targeting too. The next thing that you can do is make sure that you're optimizing for the right event. If you're doing Google ads, you need at least 15 conversions per day to optimize for conversion events, to give the pixel enough data to optimize that. So if you're not getting that much data, you need to switch over to optimize for clicks. That's gonna help you to get more traffic and thereby probably get more conversions. If you're on Facebook, you need to have at least 50 conversions per week um, for that to optimize for conversion events inside of Facebook. 
So the next thing is audience though. If you're not converting well, there's a chance that you're not hitting the right target audience. So really revisit your, your customer avatar and your client avatar and figure out who it is that you need to be targeting, what's in it for them, what are their biggest pain points, worries, fears, and really dig into these issues deep so that you understand what's in going on in their mindset so that you can enter into the conversation that they're having inside of their mind instead of trying to plant something in their mind. I think that so many times people try to build lists of people that they're convincing to do things. And that's super difficult. It's super difficult to try to convince somebody who's never heard of a product or service that they need that product or service. You have so much more education and it's just a longer sales process. So it would be great if you could just figure out who it is that already knows about your product or service or has a need. And then you can fulfill that need by showing up in ads. So that's what targeting is. And targeting is so important for that reason. You need to have the starving audience. It's so much easier to sell a cheeseburger to starving audiences. They would pay you know, anything. If somebody was starving and you had the last cheeseburger, they would pay everything that they had to get it, right? Who are your starving audiences and, and where are they hanging out? That's one thing that you need to figure out. And that's the one of the biggest keys when it comes to ads. The next thing is your landing page. Is it clear? Is it concise? Does it load quickly? Is there a call to action that's clear and concise? If you're taking people and sending them to your homepage and then asking them to figure out the next steps from there, you're going to be losing conversion. And it's not any surprise why it isn't working. If you're sending traffic from a specific ad, you should be sending it to a specific page and the call to action should be clear. Typically, you need to have a call to action above the fold and then throughout the page as well. So that's easy to take action. It needs to be optimized for mobile devices. It needs to be clear and concise and it needs to work. If it's working and the benefits are clearly displayed and you're targeting the right groups of people, you're going to be able to get conversion. That being said, advertising is an art and a science. So it's gonna take some learning and you're gonna to have to figure out which groups of people are the best for what you're trying to do. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you're having some kind of problem, I'm happy to jump on a Zoom with you or something um, to try and troubleshoot it as well. Sometimes it can be hard to figure out what the problem is when it's right in front of you just because you've been looking at it. So taking a step back and getting different perspective on it can be helpful. So if you have any questions or need help with anything, please don't hesitate to reach out and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.